Hello, everyone. It's time. It's grand finals time. I hope you're hype out there. This is going to be a banger. Snipe versus Hibimato, two titans of the game, Canada versus Japan. Let's do it. Betty, I have you here in the booth with me one more time. I wouldn't, I couldn't, wouldn't dream of doing this without you. Are you excited? Uh, thanks. Oh, gosh. Are you kidding? Like, I, I'm excited over any match, and this one is <laughs> just one for the ages because um, Snipe swept Hebe amazingly in the first matchup this evening. So, um, well, I wonder if Hebe's going to swing back, and, and he's more than capable of doing so. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Well, these two are ready to go. Uh, just as a note, and I will correct the stream here very quickly because I always forget to indicate this, but uh, Hibimoto is coming from the loser's bracket, so for anyone not familiar with double elimination, that means that he needs to win two matches of first to three crowns, whereas Snipe only needs to win one in order to take down the tournament, seeing as Snipe has not yet been defeated tonight. And they are off! I really like this starting board because it had so many T capabilities, and Snipe did just get there a, a hair before TB in order to take that first T and that first combo. Yep, uh, Hebe's going for... He uses this double yellow to make a horizontal setup in, like, a vertical in a gap, like, just... It's a heads-up play to see. It's it, Use of doubles like that, I think, is very underrated. And on on his side he is. Oh wow! Did you see that little <laughs> shot clear? Oh my god! And it just keeps going. And snipe, snipe quickly manufactures a, a setup to clear out his center. That was incredible. Just the speed that these these two play at is unbelievable. Snipe especially though. I... Like a t uh, a T at that that height for Snipe, just being able to like trust that the pills would be there when he needs it. It's it's insane. Yeah, and I think he executed it faster than most players could even see it and find yeah. that combo. So it's just incredible. His play for has sure. been honestly world class, and uh, he was able to defeat Packy in the 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 DRMC World Championships in the last November. But even since that performance uh, in making top eight, he has just she's just rocketed in terms of skill he's put in the work he's been playing online he's been playing in the monthlies uh, mm -hmm. it's actually scary the level that he's come he's even overcome hebe Mato, who some people thought was undefeatable the, some had called the best versus player in the world uh so to see uh to see the the level that snipe has been able to reach has been amazing and mm -hmm. we're only in march can you imagine what november is gonna be like oh my god i can't uh <laughs> but speaking of which panban if you are still out there he's coming and he he has your name so i know you are the one who knocked him out of Torg last year um and so yeah he's he's gonna get you oh absolutely canadian dr mario man we're coming for you we're coming to take over the world just you watch you heard it here first everybody pb Mono setting up uh, a little umbrella on the right a uh, little cute little uh, half roof over there uh, this is a strategy that both of these players have sort of employed at different times to mixed results, uh, so we're gonna see if this pans out for Hebe. Uh, Did you see that four? That quad that Hebe just set up and, like, what? He's doing it faster than I can think, Betty. I, how could I possibly see it? <laughs> oh, it's great to watch. Oh, look at this. Oh, what an amazing... <laughs> I don't know who to watch! This is just amazingness all around. <laughs> it's impossible to follow the two of them at once, that's for sure. Uh, that being said, for all of the garbage that Hebe is sending, Snipe's board is looking relatively clear. More than you would expect, given the amazing combos that we're seeing on the other side of the screen. I do not know how it's possible for Snipe to just remain having such a clean board. It's like he... And, and he moves so quickly. Like, you mentioned that, you know, he's just making those plays and, and sticking to them. And oh! Oh, no, I saw that! Some garbage forced him to try a risky vertical clear, and he ended up misdropping and topping out. That's going to be game one for Hebe. And I will say, of any of the losses I've seen Snipe do, that's the reason. It's because he gets high on his board, he knows he can make the plays high up there, and so he plays up that way, but then sometimes, if you just have that split-second uh, misplay, 
that's that's the only way you can beat him. Mm -hmm. if he beats himself. Sometimes you just get the the right gar the wrong garbage at the right time, and <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. And it just uh, puts you in a really tight spot where you have to start doing some really risky business, and uh, it doesn't always pan out like we saw there. But now it looks like Hebe is in that position. Wow. That's what he needs to bring this oh, down. Oh, that blue but red man. for snipe is misdrop, and that's gonna—he's gonna sort of forced into a roof strat on the left side. But uh, this blue garbage is actually gonna bring things down and maybe give him a chance to uh, to clean up the left side here. Meanwhile, Hybe's left side is just what I can only describe as a train wreck. But I'm sure he'll find a way to Look make some setups Look and leave this. leave a roof behind. That is incredible. It's hard to say if he did that one on purpose. I have to I, imagine I he, he did. Setting, yeah, he was setting up for that at the beginning. Yeah, that's what I- I mean, the, unless he misdropped that second yellow-red in the second top row, but, I mean, who am I to question the plays? He be misdropping. I think you misremember. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> but yeah, on Snipe's side, I, I don't really see a lot of combo capabilities on, uh... I mean, I'm sure he has- there's one, but yeah, his board looks a little bit cluttered. A little bit, yeah, I would have to agree. Uh, he's gonna- he's also getting really high in the center here. Um, oh, he needs the blue before the garbage comes. Luckily, it, it does not red. finish the job, and he's gonna knock there down his is. left side. Center's still looking dangerous. I wonder if he's gonna try this horizontal on the right side. No, he's just gonna play it safe and knock down the center. Yep. Not even Snipe will do a play that greedy, as it turns out. <laughs> oh gosh, but like, every time he has something that can uh, break through his board, he just covers it up with with some trash. Yeah, unfortunately, I think he just has, like, the, the momentum here, where he's able to make setup, he's able to make combos, and then Snipe is forced to fix the situation, and by the time he does, he has another setup ready to go, and he's just consistently... Uh, un unblocked by any sort of setup because Snipe just can't get a foothold and start sending garbage back his way. But he's gonna find a setup now, so hopefully he can start to make that turnaround. Yeah. I- I just keep- I keep watching Snipe thinking, like, he can't- he can't make anything out of it, and then somehow he does. But Hebe, on the other hand, is definitely playing, um, Definitely playing really well. Like, I love what I see in column 8. He's probably waiting for a, a blue to... Uh, I don't think he wanted to do that. I do not uh, think... Honestly, I've given up trying to figure that out at this point. <laughs> this is impossible. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's, it's, hard. It's, it's too difficult to tell. These guys are just making next level plays left and right. It's amazing. And I bet you uh, he's going to be setting up that, or like taking out that red in column one last to retain his his little roof over there. Um, if if I was Hebe, that's what I would do. But again, I'm not, and we never never claim to be. If we were, we would be good at this game too. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, it seems to be panning out. I, while his board doesn't look stellar, neither does Snipes. I mean, the garbage has been falling. I guess it, it, you have to just be able to sort of execute on this plan, and then I guess Hebe's more than capable of that, as, as we all know. Now what we really want to see is Hebe coming to Torg as well. That would be amazing. I, I don't know if we've ever had a Japanese player at world championship no? uh, that w I, as far as i'm aware i don't believe that's the case i could be wrong on that uh but i don't think that it's ever happened uh if it did that would be incredible um there we, there are some amazing japanese players in both versus and speedrun and uh, uh it would be amazing if we could have a truly international competition one day but uh for now we'll have to settle for this but this is pretty good too i'd have to say snipe is on the verge of death 2-0 Kibi Motto. He's about to- he's one game away from resetting the bracket and sending us to a whole new match. Even more Dr. Mario. I, I, it's hard to, to be unbiased, but <laughs> we get to see more amazing plays. And Cap Pants, you're absolutely absolutely correct. If Adelita could also make the trip, that that would be some titans of the game for sure. And um 
you know, we've seen Adelito play uh, versus and it's almost as good as his speed, and that says a lot. <laughs> Both players are setting up a, a roof on the left side. I think it was uh, Snipe or Hebe that did it first, and then Snipe followed suit. It looks almost identical. The only issue is if- oh no, okay, he got blue garbage there. If yellow garbage falls in column one and replaces that blue at the top, it's gonna topple the whole roof. And if that happens at the wrong time, that could be a problem. Wow. Column one, four, five looking very scary for Snipe. Doesn't really have a great setup to, to get rid of it outside of maybe bringing it down a column here with the horizontal that he just did. Like, even with PB's uh, roof strat, he has so much room to work with, and it's, like, that's one of the things when doing that roof that sometimes it cuts you off from making... Mm. Uh, okay, actually, that may have been intentional. He may have just been setting up the roof on his right side, and he's now achieved full roof. <laughs> I oh, doubt- he, he has an L opportunity he's not gonna take. He wants to keep the roof alive. Can he resist this cross? He does. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to just be unable to resist. The game will keeps giving him double yellows. But you see, on Snipe's board, he doesn't have a lot of movement between all these areas to make combos. Whereas Hebe's way that he set up his uh, his roof, he just has unlimited possibilities. It's yeah. almost like he doesn't even have it, but it is making that crucial uh, block of any uh, trash that Snipe is sending him in columns one, two, and three. Yeah, this is incredible. I mean, Snipe has uh, now lost the left side of his roof here, and uh, I don't know if that- I think he's just trying to set it back up <laughs> with that double yellow, which looks like, looks like a total <laughs> misdrop, yeah. But I don't think it was. Um, but I mean, he's gonna have to- he can't play defensive anymore. He's gotta be aggressive now. It's three viruses remaining for Hebe, and they- now two. And they are both as clear as it gets. And honestly, I don't even know if it'll matter. Those they're perfectly protected by the roof strat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what Hebe just needs to watch out for now is uh, getting too high on on the other side. And um, but Snipe is is sending as much trash as he can. But it's it's almost Hebe's game here. He oh, just for needs sure. A few more pills. Just I mean, Snipe is, knows how to stunlock people, but I mean, it's a tall order to stunlock someone for the rest of the game. That's going to be 3-0 for Hebe Motto, and we are going to go to a bracket reset finals. We said we wanted it, and we weren't lying. We, we want to see more of these two players. If I'm not mistaken, that means uh, Snipe 3 0 Hebe Motto in the winner's finals, and now Hebe Motto has done the exact opposite to back to him. Now we're going to have to see who can uh, have the last laugh here. I mean, the momentum is in Hebe's corner, so that, that, and it's getting later and later, and uh, both of these players um, are probably feeling it. On Hebe's side, he's, it's probably morning for, for him now, so. Maybe discussing the game. Uh, I've given them the go ahead to begin the reset, and uh, we should be getting up to that very shortly. Well, taking this moment, uh, thank you again, Love, for always setting this up and, and just running such a great tournament. Uh, you know, we all are privileged to see this, and so thank you for taking taking the time to do it. I appreciate that, but give it some time. There's still one more set. Anything could happen. <laughs> this could all go up in flames at any moment. I've taken I've no uh, no chances here. Uh, it looks like Snipe is uh, starting off with a roof strat. I don't know. I mean, I feel like... It's still very up in the air how effective that really is. Uh, sometimes it seems to be amazing like it was in that last game we saw with Hebe, and other times it seems to really not do much of anything. It just seems to be like wasting valuable time that you could be spending making combos and sending garbage and making progress on the board. That's kind of what I'm trying to figure out is when they deploy it. Like, when, is it is it a certain type of um, opponent that they're looking at? Or is it just... They want to make sure that their setups that they have will be intact. I'm, I'm trying to actually determine why, why or when. Yeah, I, don't quote me on this, but I think uh, I believe that Hebe publicly said that uh, 
that it is it's a strategy that he thought up as a way to counter specific playstyles. I don't remember exactly yeah. what playstyles, I guess, more aggressive players uh, who like to combo a lot, but honestly, I mean, I feel like that's so fundamental. Uh, and yet, there are times where it doesn't seem to really accomplish very much, so it's possible that this is like a situational sort of thing where, you know, if the pills fall a certain way and the garbage falls a certain way and the situation calls for it, then the roof strat makes sense, but uh, I don't think anyone, even these guys, have really figured that out completely yet. Mm -hmm. Well, once they do, you better believe that people are gonna <laughs> pop on board if they <laughs> I'm gonna try it if I can, but I can't even barely set it up. I've tried a few practice rounds in order to do it, so it even takes skill to set it up without topping out. Exactly. Honestly, I mean, to step out of the analytical mind space for a second, I think the roofs. I think the roof strat's lame. I, I don't want to see people setting up roofs to block garbage. I want to see garbage falling and blocking people off and stun locking. Like, that's the whole point, right? Like, I really hope it, that that's not, that doesn't end up becoming an optimal strategy because that would, I think it would be a little less exciting. But I mean, maybe it'll be exciting in its own right. Who knows? But personally, I, I hope that uh, we can keep games like aggressive and maybe a little more chaotic and more fun. Well, honestly, then it becomes a speed game, and we all love our, uh, you know, speed every right. um, every <laughs> month, too. So so it's just a different type of uh, verses than we're used to and that um, we like seeing. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it looks like uh, Snipe now has his full roof set up, and uh, Hebe still... I mean, I, I don't think he's able to set it up on the left now. He'd have to just sort of demolish his board. I don't think he has the time. He's instead just going to start getting setups here. And it's possible he's just doing that because he feels like maybe there's some advantage uh, to setting the roof up for your opponent if you're both going for the same idea. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's very unexplored at this point. But yeah, Snipe was the one who started it this time, whereas uh, in previous matches, he seemed to be the first to kind of set it up, so... He said it's basically, Ramsey's saying in the chat, it's, he said it's basically, specifically against a player like Snipe that he can't really top out. Mm. I mean, I suppose, but I mean, if you can't top someone out, then why don't you just play it through the board? <laughs> I mean, yeah. everyone's going to top out eventually if you can outlast them, but I mean, if Snipe's clearing the board before you and that's your issue, then maybe you should play a playstyle where you're able to clear the board easier? I don't know. Uh, I kind Look of... at this. The drop clear from Hebe. Yeah, this is, this is surprisingly yeah. close, actually, and this might be a situation where Snipe's roof strat actually pays off here. Was he playing the roof strat um, in the previous, when he went 3-0? I was trying to remember that. I honestly cannot remember. <laughs> yeah. it's It's been a long night full of great yes. matches, and so uh, definitely look at... Um, look at the YouTube when uh, Lev posts them later this month, and... Um, Actually, I shouldn't quote that for you, but look at, <laughs> look at the YouTube videos. They will be uh, ones to watch for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I'm not willing to commit to a specific date yet on the VOD uploads. <laughs> we haven't even finished the tournament yet. Let me sleep on it. Uh, but, uh, Never sleep. Yeah. Also, there, uh, well, we'll get to that after this. Let's focus on the match for now. But there are going to be some announcements coming up at the end of the stream. So stay tuned for oh, that. exciting. I mean, I'm not going to... I don't want to... Uh, get anybody too hit for nothing. It's nothing crazy, but you know, they do. They do. Uh, anyway, oh, look at, it's nine to nine. Just, this is an oh, even match. Yeah, and he just has this. Oh, he de sandwiched these uh, blues. They're probably too far between to actually take them both at once, but like just the capability of cleaning up this level or this column eight and. He's free and clear again! Mm -hmm. The roof is protecting everything! It is, but PB is only two viruses away. Uh, I mean, Snipe also in a pretty uh, clear position where Garbage cannot really affect his endgame. But the problem is that now that he's jacked up all his columns, his endgame is going to take forever to clear. Now, things are starting to get fast, so he's going to be careful, but this double yellow should seal it, and that's going to be game one. There we go. Auto. That's they four straight games for Hebe. This is crazy. After the dominating performance Snipe had against Hebe in the winners' finals, I thought I honestly thought this would be a little quicker. Uh, I am obviously a little biased rooting for you know the Canadian hero, but 
jeez, uh, like the, th the adaptation from Himamoto has been incredible. I, I, I don't really, I can't even really tell what's changed, but clearly he's doing something different and it's working. Well, my Canadian hero besides you is Cat Pants, so. <laughs> yes, shout out to Cat Pants. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. There's Hebe setting up the right side roof again. Huge! I don't know if you saw that combo from Snipe there. A huge quad. Did that take out a, a roof that he was building, or I don't was think that so. intentional? It's possible. I, I, I think it was intentional. I think it was too big of a combo to ignore. I think maybe Snipe is uh, going to lay off the roof strats now. Maybe he just feels it's not the right time. It doesn't appear that he's going for it just yet either way. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, and can't forget Luke. Again, just to mention all those uh, wonderful Canadians that have just been putting in the work at this game. I, If you guys don't take Sword, um, I, I don't know what's happening. I want Canada to win a, a championship. You heard it, you guys. Get to work. <laughs> he says uh, being the one in the immunity bracket right now. Well, listen, I'm doing my part, but it takes a village, okay? I'll, I want to see all of you in the top eight. Let's, let's go. All right, anyway, uh, Snipe now doing some work for Team Canada in this finals. Unfortunate piece of blue garbage is going to block off column four, and that is starting to look really scary. Yeah. He's going to take this red horizontal to try to knock it down a couple of rows. Sorry, I can't take it. Dawn, our favorite Canadian, just said he's crying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There's a ton of in-jokes, guys, and I'm trying to keep professional here, but it's really late. <laughs> Hebe Mato starting to pull ahead in board health. Snipe's got setups, but he's still up at the top of the board. Uh, if you keep that up for too long, then the speed might come back to bite you in the end. Honestly, though, I don't know if either of these players even care about that. They're probably capable enough to play at those kinds of high speeds. Yeah, and when he was bringing down his middle, the middle of his board, everything that he threw down was a combo. And so um, Snipe is more than capable of bringing this down and bringing this even again. And that's exactly what he's doing. Oh, wow. Yep, so now, uh, Snipes, uh, fortunately, he has full seven, column seven and eight with no little, nothing peeking out into column six to create a roof here, but, uh, uh, still has a lot of space to maneuver for setups. Uh, but it's, he's, he's, he can't keep this up forever. Eventually, he's going to have to start making some progress. Now, I'm wondering why he's not under tucking out of, uh, into level 7 and, or level, column 7 and 8 for those uh, yellows and blues he keeps getting. I think his biggest concern is that uh, he has the underclear opportunity. So mm -hmm. if, he's, if, he, if he was to, say, get two yellow blues and clear out column 7 and 8 and make a combo out of it, uh, all of this popcorn garbage sitting on top just falls down on the stack anyway. It's possible he could make a setup out of it, but it doesn't look very good. So I think what he'd rather do is just protect those columns and just try to attack this end game and then clean up those yellow, the yellow and blue at the top at the end, I think might be his play here. Gotcha. Yeah, if we were in the minds of these these players, right? Well, <laughs> I mean, as long as it's not Dave Smith says, that's all. That's all I care. See the void. Yeah. Peer into the depths of insanity. <laughs> <laughs> and it peers back now. <laughs> yeah. If you looked into Dave Smith's mind, it would look back at you. <laughs> Snipe is quickly running out of room, but he does have a blue opportunity if he can get out of the stun lock, and the yellow garbage is going to block it. He will be able to clear it away, but now he's looking for yet another blue, and he will hold out for the L. But as, as he's waiting on these pills, Hibimoto has all the space in the world to work with. His viruses are not entirely clear, but in a good position to start endgaming here. He's got his roof set up on the right, and uh, really, once he gets the left side cleared out, he might be on his way to the ending this match. Or at least this game. The fact that Snipe can actually continue to make combos with all the trash that he's getting, that that Hebe is covering any setups, 
it's, it's amazing to me. Yeah, this is just unbelievable play from both players. <laughs> Obviously in very different positions, but they both know exactly what to do. Snipe again, just letting that, that column 8, the blue at the top, just sit there and... Oh, but a misplay right there, oh I believe. I think he probably wanted those reds over a little bit. <gasps> Things are almost cut off uh, on the Yeah, this is starting to get scary, and this might be one of the downfalls of the roof strat. Um, mm -hmm. one of the, I mean, if you have a roof and you're getting less uh, garbage, it usually means that you spend less time in drop time, which means you spend wow. more time dropping pills, which means you, you build up your speed counter faster, which can actually work against you, and I think that might be starting to happen. If I, We can't see the speed values here, unfortunately, but I feel like PB Motto might be at a faster speed here, and it might come back to bite him if he can't do something about it here. But as you see, like, with their, their ability to play on the uh, on the top of their board, it, the speed doesn't mean much to them. Probably even at the top speed this game can go, um, they can handle getting it over. And that's what's amazing to me, they, their ability to just make the pill go wherever they want. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, Hibimoto starting to make more space, starting to clear up his unfavorable position here. Uh, started, now he's going to have... Uh, wow, with this setup, which, if he gets another blue, he's going to just keep it going even further. But it's getting dangerous. Oh, he's a very small space to get anything into the right side here. He might have to approach it from the left. And uh, even even three rows down, it's very scary to have that there. He will drop it down and, and get a combo for his trouble. That was a scary moment, though, to make, you know, make no mistake. Some chat, uh, some stuff in chat, they're asking if uh, there actually is a max speed, and we're getting some uh, answers that there is actually a max similar to the way Petrus goes until um, it doesn't get any faster, so. Oh no! Snipe misdrops at the, this top setup, and he has, he still has very little space. Oh no, the speed is too high. I don't think he can get there. He can maybe get a horizontal, but he doesn't make it. That's going to be game two. Hibimoto by top out, and they are going straight into this last game. Hibimoto's on tournament point, coming from the loser's bracket, where Snipe had, had left him. Where Snipe had left us all. <laughs> Man. Setting up his, I think maybe he's adapting. I feel like every time he's done this, he's setting up a roof only on one half, and then he's just focusing on clearing up the left side. I don't know. Maybe uh, I mean I'm just spitballing here, but I think he's uh, maybe developing some oh, new strats on the there fly. Goes I'm doing it too. Yep, he's adapting too. He sees what he is doing, and he's he's trying to take advantage of it himself. I think. So if it is based on somebody else setting it up, who who takes that first leap, you know, and why? So many unanswered questions from these uh, two titans of the game. For sure, and to be honest, I think the answer is, is being uh, calculated before our very eyes. I think these guys are just trying to figure it out on the spot. Uh, but sometimes if you're put in that position when you're two amazing players, uh, the only way to get an edge is to just come up with something out of nowhere. Honestly, that's one of the, the reasons why I love watching people that don't play like me the most, is the <laughs> fact that, like, what are they seeing that I'm not, and and you learn and, like you said, adapt to to those styles. But he is not in a good position here from what I'm, I'm looking at, but still taking it down, but a lot of trash going on around here. Yeah, is able to clear out a center, but I mean better because that's all he's got left with this roof set up. I mean, the biggest issue is that it clears out. You have two less columns to work with, which doesn't seem like mm -hmm. much, but honestly, I feel like when you have the edges open, it gives you so much more room to maneuver and gives you more options for setups and you don't have to rely as much on RNG to get the exact pill you need to knock things down. 
Um, I mean, the upside, of course, is he's virtually unaffected by any garbage except in his two center and column, but, uh, uh, yeah, it's hard to say if, uh, that trade-off is worth it, but it, both players in this case at least seem to think so, because they've both got their roofs set up and they're both looking quite solid. This is the first time tonight that we've seen them do the the roof on on stream. I'm wondering if um, they used it before. Uh, I believe there might have been a little bit of that last month used by Snipe, but I'm gotcha. not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. You have to check the vods on our YouTube channel. Oh, I will. Please like you, and subscribe. Yeah, you <laughs> Good plug. Good segue. I liked it too. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, look at this setup from Hebe. I saw that. It's, like, I see it just way too late. He's already planning it. And then I'm like, oh, oh, now I see. Ah, so good. Wow. This knife has quite uh, an opening here in the center. This might be the first game where he's had a very noticeable lead at, at any given moment. Um, mm -hmm. Hebe's, I mean, Hebe can open things up as well. His roof is established too, and uh, he's got a lot of setups here, as he often does. But he's got to get a blue-yellow here. And right when he gets it, it's blocked off. And now he's just crowding his fourth column, trying to open this up. Yeah, and he could have also taken a, a blue-red and, and shoved it in there to actually make a combo as well, but wasn't getting the pills that he, he wanted right then. This is this is wild. <laughs> I don't think we've ever seen a game like this. This is uh, both players making excellent use of their limited space here to to find setups and put the hurt on the opponent. But honestly, I mean, are they really putting the hurt on their opponent? These combos aren't even really doing anything. This is almost a speed game. Maybe Lamato should be stun locking, and instead, Snipe is just running free and clear 50% of the time. Triples and quads, though, I think are, are, if you can manage them in this confined space, they're going to be huge because they give you guaranteed center garbage, which I think if your opponent is uh, employing the strategy is, is much, even stronger than you would expect it to be. Yeah, because that's the only way to get any trash through. The only way to get any stun, stun locking time on your opponent. If you need to buy time, that's the only way you can do it. Oh, that's... but Snipe has this. Oh yeah, Snipe is free and clear. He collapses his roof momentarily just to swag out. And <laughs> finally get on the board for Team Canada. That's two to one now in favor of Hebe Motto, still on tournament point. Yeah, Snipe was ahead that whole entire round, so um, and and actually took the roof a little bit later than Hebe, so maybe that that goes into kind of prolonging uh, setting that up until absolutely necessary. We're certainly watching these guys pioneer the, the strategy behind it, I think. And that's not to say others haven't tried, but to this degree of, um, you know, setup and execution, uh, they are definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely doing that, so. Absolutely. I think when, I mean, they're, they're just forced to, having to play against, I mean, who, when are you, who, who are you ever going to play that's going to push you further than Sniper Hebe Motto, right? Like they're, right. They're, gonna, they're forcing each other to come up with this stuff on the fly as, we wa as we're watching it. Now in this game, for example, neither player seemed to take any sort of uh, roof setup. Oh, I don't know if there goes Snipe. he's going to begin to set it up, but Hebe Motto not really looking like he's has any desire to do so. Uh, I think he's just going to try to clear off this hill. He hasn't cleared it yet on the, on the right side. Uh, perhaps if garbage starts to uh, crowd things on the left and right, he might uh, change his mind. But yeah, that goes to um, all the people that are playing in this tournament. Like, you know, you give us the capability of doing a double elimination, which means we get to learn, you know, twice as much. <laughs> playing against people and, and losing against these amazing individuals, so, um, I love this tournament. A blessing, I absolutely a blessing do. and a curse, maybe? <laughs> a little bit of both. Call yeah. me, call me. <laughs> oh wow, this garbage is just gonna give Phoebe Motto a free combo. 
Snipe seems to have lost his right side roof, but he's built one up now on the left. Oh, I didn't even see that happen. Yeah, I was watching Hebe's screen. I was transfixed. And I look over and suddenly the roof swapped sides somehow. Who knows? He wanted some sun over on that side and a little shade over there, so... Like trying to hang a picture frame that you can't get quite straight. Now nah, maybe on this side. <laughs> yeah, Hebe yeah. Mono not not in maybe employing any sort of roof. Instead, his mm -hmm. his garbage is really just crowding up in the center. Maybe he's uh, changed his mind on uh, on the strategy, or maybe it's just a situational thing. I, I would love to I would love to find out these players' thoughts on that. It, it, they feel they need to employ it against each other, some of the best players in the world, then uh, there's got to be something to it. Well, I, I know with um, doing some practices with Snipe that he hasn't been uh, doing it as much as he was when he was developing it. So, um, again, I maybe it is situational. Maybe they found out that it, it works during... Um, some games and not others. Mm -hmm. Wow. But Snipe is running away with this one, definitely making um, making a lead for himself in virus count and has a cleaner board overall. Oh, he looks Notwithstanding the, the roof. <laughs> I see a stray double blue on the right side there. I wonder if uh, he'd be starting to, to read some trash pills to uh, for the buzzing efforts. <laughs> Now what I want is because they're making this a speed game, I want to see these uh, these folks in our our speed tournaments now. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I mean, I think you might already be watching that right now. But right. yeah, there's the roof from oh, Hibiwato, and now there he's there setting it, it up. Now that uh, I mean, I guess as soon as things start to go a little awry, before your opponent can really like let it cascade into a big advantage, he just sets up the roof when he feels he's in danger. Perhaps that seems to be what's happening here. But honestly, it's just so. Yeah, I don't. I you don't need to watch their confidence when they set it up. Just the speed in which they do it, and and just knowing that they're in the right column. It, I I mean, I know I've said it multiple times, but it's amazing. Like I, I can't think of another word. For I think it. it's clearly been practiced, as you said. Snipe had been developing it. Oh, this is dangerous for Hebe Motto. His roof has become less of a help and more of a of a danger wow. here. Yep. He's gonna clear out the center to survive. He and has a, a red a T set up here to clear the center a little further. Uh, is, does Snipe even care about garbage at this point? He doesn't have a clear end game. The bottom two viruses now are just absolutely crushed under the pressure of his, all this garbage on the right side. He may have some outs to get to it horizontally, but it doesn't look good. You know, it's amazing that at a 5 to 25 virus count, I still have no idea who's going to win this game. Right? <laughs> Good old mystery. Who will do it? Oh, I didn't even see that move! Jeez. I analyze these boards and I'm like, oh, this is what, what moves they have available, and then they come up with something completely different. Maybe he can take advantage of stun locks now, says Pandan. Richard in the chat. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I don't see uh, I don't see a clear endgame path here for Snipe. And uh, now that uh, the the, um, the left right side roof is not entirely completed, he's way more susceptible to, uh, to possible stun locking here. And if anyone can do it at these speeds, it's surely Hebe Motto. But that being said, it's not like Hebe Mato's any closer to finishing uh, his whole board either. He's got a lot of garbage of his own to contend with, so uh, well, he is doing a good job of it, but the, the speed is going to continue to climb, and uh, who knows? Uh, not, we've never seen Hebe Mato hit his speed limits, so who can say what will happen? But as we uh, we like to say about Hebe's play is, 
it, it's not really a win until, uh, you know, he pops you out. So it, 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 he actually has to go the distance and clear all these viruses. That's too much time. Well, it's possible he's banking that, uh, that he won't have to and that Snipe will eventually just succumb to the speed uh, and the reduced space he has to, uh, to put garbage pieces. But that's a double blue on uh, the bottom right cleared for Snipe. And the yellow is looking... This is actually looking yeah. like he might be able to do this. He's gonna clear that yellow. He's gonna contend with this drop time. And unless uh, something crazy happens, I think we're going to a bracket reset decider. You know, hold on a minute. Maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. <laughs> this is an insane stun lock that he be knows he has to do. But I mean, this board is quite low on all columns. Could he possibly stun lock snipe? No, unfortunately, a little too slow. And we're going to the final, final round. This is it. This is for everything. This is tournament point for both players. Let's do it. It looks like neither of them wanted to sleep tonight, and neither do we. We want to see this. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm at work in the morning or anything. It's fine. But I... <laughs> uh, no, this is amazing. Uh, oh, he be model getting very dangerous! This is so dangerous for a tournament point game! Oh no, he's gonna get stunlocked! That's the game! Sediment's gonna take it! Three to two! On the verge of defeat, he reverse sweeps! And that is it! Oh wow. my goodness. Betty, I, that... What a, what a way to end it. Unbelievable. We saw some incredible, like... First time world class strats tonight. I, I mean, I couldn't ask for more. That was amazing. Uh, I wow. Um, do you have any? Taking a breath now. Or, I'm okay, speechless. Okay. Are you speechless? I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. I have no words. And everybody out there knows how uh, how much it takes me to be speechless. So <laughs> <laughs> this was great. Thank you again, love, for letting me commentate. I'll let you take over and do your end. Um, but thank you again, and thanks to Snipe and Hibimato for making it the best finals we've had in uh, ever. ever. Ab absolutely, <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you, and uh, we will we will have you again anytime. Thank you so All much right. for your help. Tonight. Good night, love. Good take night, care. chat. Good night, everybody.